ViewGen Ease of Use is the new generation of ViewGen. As you follow the workflow, ViewGen guides you through the recommended process of creating a script. In this example, we will record a new web script. Click the New VUser Script button, select Web Protocol, and click OK. The screen is divided in two. The left pane displays the workflow navigation steps that guide you through the script creation process. You navigate the workflow using the Back and Next buttons. The right pane provides explanations for each workflow step and directions on how to proceed. Detailed help for each step is available by clicking F1. Once you are familiar with the basic workflow, you can use these buttons to switch to the script or tree view. Let's record a new script. Click Next. The Introduction to Recording page opens. Click the Start Recording button. The Start Recording dialog appears. Fill in the URL address of the application you want to record. In this case, www.mercury.com. In the Record into Action drop-down menu, select Action and click OK. The browser opens and you are ready to run through a typical business process in your application while ViewGen records your actions. Now let's begin recording our business process. Click Products. Click Mercury Load Runner. Under Next Steps, click the Features and Benefits link. Click Solutions, and then under Next Steps, click J2EE. Once you finish the steps that you'd like to record, click Stop on the toolbar. ViewGen now generates the script and opens the recording summary page. This page provides information about the protocols you recorded and the structure of your script. Thumbnails of the script appear on the right-hand side of the screen. Click Next. The Introduction to Verification page opens. Click Start Replay. ViewGen now replays your script. After the script finishes replaying, the last replay summary page opens. This page provides a summary of the replay. The replay summary also shows thumbnails of the recording and replay snapshots. You can visually compare the snapshots and look for discrepancies. This page also displays any errors that occurred during replay, and you can click F1 to see detailed troubleshooting information. In this example, there were no errors during replay. Once you finish recording and replaying the script, you can enhance it by following the instructions on the Enhancing the Script page. Click Next to access the Enhancing the Script page. The first step is Add Transactions. Click Next to open the Transaction Editor. LoadRunner provides performance information about your application by measuring the duration of specific business process steps. You designate a series of actions you want to measure by marking them as transactions. To mark a transaction, click New Transaction. Drag the borders around the thumbnails of the screens you would like to include in the transaction. Assign a transaction name. The transaction is now added to the script. Click Next. The Parameterize Values page opens. On this page, you can create parameters for your script. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will skip this step. Click Next. The Content Checks page allows you to add content checks for specific text in the page. You use Content Checks to verify that text appears on the page. Select the thumbnail containing the text you would like to check. Mark the text you would like to check, right-click, and select Add a Text Check. 
The Find Text dialog opens. Here you can set additional parameters for your text check. Click OK. This will verify that the selected text appears in the HTTP response once you replay the script. Click Next. You have now reached the final stage of preparing your script for load testing. In this stage you can add iterations and configure the number of users you would like to run. Once you complete the Prepare for Load step, click Next again. Your script is ready to use in a load runner scenario. You can also upload the script to Performance Center or Quality Center. As you can see, this workflow guides you through the process of creating a script for load testing.